All right, we start chapter five today, or four, excuse me. Uh, when two worlds met, this is this chapter will be talking about the thirteen colonies and uh, how they began. Uh, a couple things that you really should um, pick up on is that in the north we'll have religious colonies, and in the south we'll have economic colonies. Things about money. Uh, so you can find right here the reasons, and this is very important uh, to remember. Uh, Roanoke Island over here and Jamestown were both economic ventures. That means they wanted to make money. They wanted to set up plantations and make money and send it back. And then number five over here, Georgia, was for economic freedom. And that ties in with um, our debtor word here. Let me just get this. A person who owes money to somebody else. So people would be in debt. Uh, they were thrown in jail, and in order to get out of jail, they would agree to go to the New World and work a plantation and uh, try to get a better life for themselves. Uh, up in Massachusetts, they were to try to avoid religious persecution, and in Pennsylvania, they wanted the freedom to practice their faith. Now, these sound very, very similar. They really are, um, but persecution, what was happening was that uh, uh, Pennsylvania, um, these people just wanted to go and start their uh, religion, their colony without being bothered, uh, whereas the people that started the Massachusetts Bay and the Plymouth colonies, the Separatists and the Puritans, Separatists we know uh, more commonly as the Pilgrims, uh, were getting persecuted in Europe. Uh, they were being pushed around and wanted to leave and uh, so it, it looks a lot like Pennsylvania uh, with the Quakers, but they're both religious, so that that's where the similarities are. Uh, persecution is our second word here. This thing will ever cooperate with me. I don't think it will. Uh, you see it right here. Persecution. Uh, constant bad treatment of a person or group based on the religion or ethnic background. What I was going over was that uh, in, my, in class, was that the English government, the king, would go from one religion to the other. Uh, you'd have one king that was Protestant, then a queen that was Catholic, and another queen that was Protestant, go back and forth, and you had to have the same religion as the king or queen, and if you didn't, you would face persecution. And uh, as more and more versions of Christianity started to emerge, uh, more and more persecution started taking place, and people found refuge in America, uh, which was a good thing for both sides. The, the people coming to America could worship the way that they wanted to, and the king or queen got uh, less people to that were against them uh, in their country. They could just send them across the world, and they can worship however they want and start growing the empire. So it was a win-win for uh, both sides. Uh, taking a closer look, uh, as we can see here, we've got the religious colonies of Massachusetts Bay and Plymouth, Plymouth being the Pilgrims, and the Quakers over here setting up Pennsylvania. In Virginia we have Jamestown and Roanoke Island. They were economic ventures and then economic freedom right here. Uh, the first one is Roanoke Island. Roanoke Island is a colony uh, that actually failed twice. Okay, they, um, they went there, they tried to set it up, and then they left, and then they came back for a second time, um, and they were gone. So um, they call it the Lost Colony. Nobody really knows what happens. Um, there's a lot of theories. Maybe they were killed by Indians. Maybe they joined the Indians. Um, we don't know. There, there's very little evidence telling us, ex except for um, there was a word right here. Uh, written, carved into a tree, into the uh, some part of the colony. It said crow. People think it's a crow tones. One of the uh, uh, local Indian tribes. So it's uh, <laughs> maybe they're telling them, hey, it was the crow tones that came after us, or maybe it was we j went to join the crow tones. Go find them, and you'll find us. Um, we don't know. It's a, it's just a mystery to this very day. Uh, which brings us to Jamestown, which is probably what you'll remember in uh, Virginia history. 
it's the first permanent settlement. It's not the first, because we had Roanoke Island, but it is the first permanent settlement uh, that the English had here in North America. Uh, Spanish were the first in Florida, St. Petersburg, but the first English uh, permanent settlement is right here in Jamestown. And um, it was also an economic venture. They're trying to make money and uh, grow things like tobacco to make themselves rich. Then we have the, um, uh, the Massachusetts Bay and the Plymouth colonies. Uh, they just come a few years after them. And then uh, Pennsylvania, and then finally Georgia uh, came in also for economic freedom. So Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, religious. All the southern colonies in Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia are about economics.